A cure for cancer? The scientists in Israel claim to be on the verge of development. They liken it to a cancer antibiotic that uses a multi-pronged approach similar to the treatment that is given to HIV patients. But as you can imagine this afternoon, there is plenty of skepticism. And here to talk more about this bold claim, I'm joined by Dr. Anarud Mishra. Thank you so much with U.S. Health Works in San Francisco. I know you are not an oncologist, but you specialize in, in preventing cancer. Can I get your, your first initial reaction to this? news? Sure. So um, the scientific method is the cornerstone for knowing whether or not things like this may bore out itself mm -hmm. to be merit worthy. Um, I would like to couch this in the in the place of uh, cautious optimism. I, I don't think one would want to make such bold proclamations unless they really felt confident they were likely to get there. The Nell hypothesis is that he's going to be incorrect. Of course I'm pulling for him. Um, but there's a, a lot of layers to this. So we'll, we'll see how it plays out and let, let the scientific method uh, to tell us. Yeah, they, they didn't really give a whole lot of detail about this new treatment, but they said that it relied on a combination of several peptides uh, for each cancer cell that they say would essentially stop it from sort of invading the body. Uh, they said that it hasn't been tested on humans yet, but they say that it's showing some progress in mice. Is that enough? Uh, that's where these things start because a lot of these things are transferable. So um, whether it's enough or not will be again bor borne out by the studies as they are translated to different phase trials in 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 in, in, uh, in, in humans uh, model studies. And they aren't always transferable, but we we can only hope so. Um, very recently, from there also, there was a study that showed uh, directing eosinophils, which is a cell line in white blood cells, to attack cancer cells, showed promise too. So there's quite a bit of cutting edge resource information coming out of there. Um, I may be incorrect about this, but my understanding is there's no country in the world that puts out per capita more scientific publications than the state of Israel. It is to say that uh, I, I'm kind of a fan of the science that develops from there and other places that are on the cutting edge like Japan and other places outside our country where the, the, the controls may be a bit different. Mm -hmm. And uh, so breakthroughs may come through. And, and so we're hopeful that something may, may work themselves through. Yeah, I, we're hearing from the American Cancer Society. They're obviously reacting to this. And they said that we hope that this approach also bears fruit, as you mentioned, and is successful. At the same time, though, we must always offer a note of caution that the process to get this treatment from mouse to man is not always as simple and uncomplicated, is not always a simple and uncomplicated journey. Do you think though by releasing information like this, by making such a bold prediction, perhaps you're giving false hope to cancer patients? It's always the case that people will grasp on because mm -hmm. you are in a point of desperation, you are clinging on to hope. Hope is all sometimes anyone ever has yeah. to get through a hard time. Uh, I appreciate, I think the American Cancer Society, I couldn't have said it better myself, I would tend to agree with that point of view. All right. Thank you so much for coming in today. Really appreciate it. Thank you.